When will they know what I'm thinking? When will they fly? And more importantly, when will cars actually transform into giant robots? So we started by splitting the typical street into three separate forms of mobility. The first type is for faster transportation, and every vehicle is autonomous with zero emissions, and street trees create the necessary distinction between people and vehicles. The second type will be an urban promenade shared by pedestrians and slower personal mobility. And the final type of street will be a linear park with paths for pedestrians only. So imagine walking from one part of town to the other, moving only through a park. So these three types of streets will then weave together into a woven grid of three by three city blocks, each framing a local park or courtyard. This not only creates a more serene living environment, but also provides a wide variety of intersections between various kinds of users, between humans and animals and vehicles and even robots. And this also helps accelerate Toyota's testing of autonomy and smart city infrastructure. So this is one of the city's typical blocks. The roofs are clad in photovoltaic tiles to power the city. All of the buildings are made primarily out of carbon neutral wood, and they combine the traditional craft of Japanese wood joinery with new robotic production methods. In a way, we can preserve and evolve the old traditions through new technology. And each block is home to a mix of spaces for living and working and playing. Below ground, we find the entire infrastructure of the city, including its hydrogen power storage and water filtration systems. A network for the autonomous delivery of goods also takes place underground and connects directly to the buildings above. Homes in the Rogan city will serve as test sites for new technology, such as in-home robotics to assist with daily life. So these smart homes will take advantage of full connectivity using sensor-based AI to do things automatically, like restocking your fridge, or taking out your trash, or even taking care of how healthy you are. And of course, the best part is that these homes will have spectacular views of Mount Fuji. So if we go back on the ground, a major piece of the puzzle in the, uh, in the whole city is the Toyota e pallet an autonomous vehicle that will serve for shared transportation and mobile retail. It is also going to make uh, deliveries to the research and development labs, which rise above the central plaza. And the e pallets will also help create flexible programming in the central plaza, making the plaza the rebirth of the marketplace, the town square, or even the fairground. So in an age when technology, social media, and online retail is replacing and eliminating our natural meeting places, the Woven City will explore ways to stimulate human interaction in, in the urban space. After all, human connectivity is the kind of connectivity that triggers well-being and happiness 
productivity and innovation. So here you have it, nested at the base of Mount Fuji, the Toyota woven city. Thank you.